Hola, ¿cómo estás? What's up, y'all? So, basically, my friend told me about this video called Black Dragon. So, I'm like, I want to check it out. And she said it was good for taking pictures and videos. So, I'm like, oh, that's perfect. So, I downloaded it. And what I realized when you first log on, the controls is crazy. And it's like, when you pressing on the arrow to move left, to turn your camera left and right, it's not working and I'm like whoa wait a minute I'm like this is confusing so I decided I'm gonna take on the challenge to figure everything out starting with the controls okay so when you first log on to black dragon you one you're gonna realize okay these controls is a little bit confusing boom I got you right now so what you want to do is you want to fix your key bindings and how you would do that is first you will have to let me bring up my toolbar real quick you go to your preferences and the way you find your preferences is you go to dragon you go to edit and you go to preferences so this screen will open up then you go down to key bindings wow this looks so confusing so what I realize is people are keeping the preset settings and that's why everything is so confusing to people. No, don't keep the preset settings. Delete everything. Delete all that shit. <laughs> For real though, like it don't have to be like I don't know. I don't understand none of this. So when I first was trying to figure it out, I actually deleted everything on accident, but that made it better for me. So I'm gonna teach y'all the easy way. So what you want to do is delete everything. So after you delete everything, you want to go ahead and set up your settings that you prefer. So this, what I'm setting up here is this is what I prefer. The way I'm going to set my keys up is what you want to do, move forward, up arrow key, click vine. Add another key, move backwards, down arrow key, bind. So this part actually gets a little bit confusing, but when I realize when I'm using Firestorm with my avatars turning left, the camera's turning left as well. So I'm gonna click turn left and I'm gonna use that as my left arrow key. Then I'm gonna add my other one, which is gonna be turn right. A right arrow key so let me show y'all what that looks like real quick so look moving forward it's so simple moving backwards turning left turning right now the controls is looking normal so you go ahead and finish setting up your key binding so you go back to edit preference key bindings and just set it up like I I don't use move left I don't use move right jump we can use page up crouch it we can use page down fly F makes it simple stop movement escape right yeah it's so simple so this is the key binding start chat we press enter zoom in so I believe I got this from Photoshop so 
I believe in Photoshop if you want to zoom in you could press Z so I'm gonna do that I could be wrong but I really believe that's how you zoom in in Photoshop and then zoom out would be X but mine's is pretty much set up simple so that's that and everything simple turn left left arrow key turn right right arrow key if I want to walk up arrow key if I want to walk backwards or turn around down arrow key if I want to fly sometimes you got to click the screen and it goes but my flying is not working but let's see what else I put start chat you press enter page up is jumping page down is crouching so everything's so simple like just delete i'm telling you delete all your key bindings and start from scratch don't try to mess with the preset settings because that's why people be so confused sometimes you gotta click on the screen for everything to work i don't know why fly is not working but i'm really not going to fly anywhere so We'll figure that one out later. I'll probably have to log in and log back out. So I'll go over this little drop down menu right here. So usually I believe in Firestorm. Firestorm be having like everything up in this section. But Black Dragon has this drop down menu. So if you want to upload your pictures. Here's upload, snapshot. I'll also show you guys how to do the shortcuts on your toolbar. If you want to edit like your preference and everything, most of the stuff you can also find on your toolbar and create a shortcut. View nearby chats. This is like everything that's on Firestorm to be honest. But I'll just show you how everything so it's easier for y'all to figure out, I guess. It's so simple. Well, I guess it's how it could fly because the button don't want to work. But yeah. So now that you got your key binding set up, Second Life Black Dragon Viewer is about to be way easier than you thought it was because I helped you figure that part out. So what you want to do next is edit your toolbar. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. So before I show y'all how to edit your toolbar, check this out. Now I don't believe Firestone have this. I could be wrong. But yo, this camera setting right here, this is next level. So you know the typical left, right, up, down. But check this out. In Black Dragon. Woo! Check that out. It rotates your whole camera. Let's just do that one more time, cause let's go the opposite way. Ooh. Oh, that camera is fire. I'm telling you, once I start using that for my videos, my videos is gonna be next level on second light. So moving on to the toolbar, the way that you will edit the toolbar. So I actually already set mine up. So I'll give you like a quick tutorial on that. But so you will go to edit, toolbars, and let's say you wanted to add my environments to your toolbar. You would click it and you could drag it. So I'm not sure how it was on Firestorm, but I know on Black Dragon, you can honestly add it anywhere. So you can add it to the top section, to the left section, or to the bottom. Now, if you add it to the bottom, for example, it actually shows like my environments versus just the icon picture. So that's pretty cool, but I don't really like mine's at the bottom. But if I want to add it like to the top, for example, boom, it's so simple. And you create it however you prefer. 
So at the top, I have my environment editor, sky editor, places, search, sidebar, machinima, whatever, appearance, marketplace, avatar. On the right, I have a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> But yeah, so I have the camera controls, which is my favorite button right here. I always have my camera controls on my screen. I don't know about y'all, but I love my camera controls. But yeah, so my camera controls is right here. I also want to show you guys something that would also help now that I just thought about the camera controls. But after I do this real quick, I'll get back to that. Okay, so we have camera controls, chat, but I also have my shortcut where I could just press enter, speak, snapshot, inventory, walk, run, fly, poser. So I don't know how to use a pose yet, but I figure it out. And once I figure that out, I'll make a, another tutorial. Then we have people, friends, groups, and nearby people. Profile, mini map, map, preferences. So all this stuff is so easy. You just click it, drag it to whichever the screen that you prefer. And if you mess up, you can always clear all two bars, restore defaults, and start over. Simple. But yeah, so that's your two bar settings. So I already set mine up, so I don't really have much to do with my toolbar but yeah that's that what I also wanted to show you guys is when you go to your preferences go to key bindings the way I did this before when I set up everything is if you want to move the camera left let's see hold on Okay, so this is how I set up my settings. So some people are used to WASD. So I use WASD when I just want to move my camera up, down, left, and right. So for example, if I want to move my camera up, I'll pick W. If I want to move my camera down, I would pick S. If I want to move my camera to the left, to the left, to the left. So yeah, I will pick move left. I will pick A. And move right, I will pick. No, sorry. Wrong button. What? Right, move right, I will pick D. So let me show you guys this real quick. So now I'm clicking. Hold on real quick. show you guys this hold up real quick let me remove my so boom w now i'm pressing down s let me start that over w going up going to the left is a going down s going to the right is d it's so simple if i want to move forward forward key if i want to turn around and move backwards down key if I want to turn left left key if I want to turn right right key so simple so simple but yeah I want to show you guys that real quick I love this location like I love how they got this lady and her baby here oh yeah so something else I learned like if you want to hide your um your toolbar you press control all and f1 i had to learn that because i hit my toolbar and i'm like oh my gosh i don't know how to figure it out to make it pop back up but yeah all you just got to do is press control all and f1 and it pops up press those same buttons and it disappear for your hud if you want to hide your hud you put shift all h hud disappear press it again it reappears so that's something that I just learned today so you basically learn something new in second life every single day 
but yeah so that's pretty much the key bindings and the tool bar oh yeah so when you on black dragon so from what i heard it is recommended to use black dragon if you have a gaming laptop because i'm not really sure like what's required to run black dragon smooth so i have a gaming laptop so i really don't experience lagging but if you want to adjust your settings what you would do your graphic settings you would want to go to preference display and you will see all your settings here so i believe everything i think my avatar quality was set on medium so i did change that to high because i like i love details and i need my avatar to be all that and on point and i feel like you would see that my avatar's on point when we got the details high so i'm gonna keep mine on high object quality on high i don't really care for trees terrain quality medium when it has the blue badge that means that's ultra and believe like firestorm or the regular viewer maybe the regular viewer but yeah so i'm basically playing ultra on the regular second life viewer on black dragon which is cool because it's like my laptop is still operating perfectly fine so i suggest you play around with the settings and if you see that you're lagging and your computer slowing down bring down a sudden so where it's like your computer can operate fine so i really don't need all my settings on like very high like i feel like the settings that it's on right now like it's good quality so i don't really have to change much but yeah just play around with these settings oh yeah so also this is something else that I do love about Black Dragon is that you can edit the depth of field. I believe you could do it in Firestorm, but I could be wrong. But let's see, let's see. For example, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. Like, you don't even have to do much, but it's out of focus. Hold on. So this is like all the way, ooh, ooh. hold up. Yeah, you would just play around with that. But I think that's really nice how they have this. I wonder if this setting is in Firestorm, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is another setting that I learned. Also, what I did learn was that I know on Firestorm, like if you camming someone or if someone's camming you, there's actually a setting that you can see, like if someone's camming you, but on Black Dragon, I don't believe that setting is available. So that might be a downside for someone who's so used to seeing where people's camming, but I honestly don't care. And if I want to be nosy, like if you see me being nosy, I really don't care. <laughs> Cause like at the end of the day, what are you gonna do? Absolutely nothing, <laughs> but yeah. So that's the camera settings. I'd just say go through it. Make sure you know the laptop that you're working with. And if you see that you're lagging, bring them settings down a little bit. So yeah, that's honestly really it for this video. Like I said, if you do your key binders, make sure you delete everything and start from scratch. I promise you, it's gonna make everything so much easier. But definitely before I end the video, I wanna give a shout out to Mila Vanderbilt because i was following her tutorial when i was trying to figure out black dragon and she honestly made everything way easier for me to figure out so yeah definitely go check out her youtube page but yeah so if you have any questions feel free to leave your questions in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer everything but thank you for watching